Far from the harbours of Brendam and Tidmouth stood the lighthouse of Harwick Point. The point marked a dangerous part of Sudrian waters. Over the years, many vessels had been claimed by the strong currents that dragged ships towards the rocks that lay there like a siren of the sea, calling its next victim forward. Now, the lighthouse itself was a solid structure, built to last for years. It had served its purpose for a long time now, and age was taking its toll. Oh, it's not fair, I tell you. Left out of condition as I am. All this water, bad for my circuits. Oh, do stop dribbling on up there. Dribble, dribble. I'll give you dribble, sunshine. Just you wait. Sunshine? I'm not sunshine. I'm top hat. Oh, figure of speech, top scat. Top hat. Uh, hat stack. Oh. Now, if you were left up here like me, left to fall into a state of disrepair, you do the same. Not to mention all you tugs and ships gallivanting off up and down the coast. Oh, blimey, it's a miracle I managed to get 40 weeks. Why, back in my day, we only had one tugboat. Went by the name of uh, Endeavour or something like that. Cheery chap, unlike you. Lots always coming to bring me bad news. Sitting down there with your little barges and your your fancy manoeuvres and all of your nonsense. It's different. It's bad. Well, of course, my tug knew all about the rocks and currents and took great care when passing by. Ooh, uh, lost my wake a bit there. Ooh, ooh, dear. Ooh. Easy there, old timer. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. What happened there? Your generator's blown. I blame you for this, you know. Too much excitement ooh, with all that spinning round. Oh, bah. We, we better get help, or goodness knows what will happen tonight. Uh, Wilbur to port, uh, Wilbur to port. Are you receiving? Over. Good evening, everyone. Hello, Top Hat. Good day? Not bad. I could do with a cold top up. It's been a long day. I'm sure it has. They're knocking down that old factory near the railway dock. I'm sure there was a lovely bit of shade for you to laze under. Please, me. I wouldn't dream of it, old boy. As a matter of fact, taking away the waste was rather tiring. I had to get help from Dixon. Help? From a switcher? Come on, man. Get it together. What? It's just that... You're so... Dependent. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much. You're just like that lighthouse at Arwick Point. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I don't know that one. That blasted lighthouse keeps moaning about the noise, getting my name wrong. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Uh, tip top. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Store it, you two. Incoming message from Wilbur. Harwick Point Lighthouse is out of action. Repeat, lighthouse out of action. Right, thanks for the update. Continue on. We'll sort it out. Over. Aye, aye, Captain. Over and out. Hey, you! Where do you think you're going? You can't just leave me here. I've got a job to do. Bringing in a trapper. Never fear, it'll all be f- oh, I don't believe it. It's ridiculous. Lighthouse left out of operation. That's dangerous to shipping, you know. The situation was less than satisfactory. With the lighthouse out of action, the risks to shipping increased tenfold. As its continued operation fell under my jurisdiction, I had to ensure it was working again before Wilbur's return. We'll need to act fast. There isn't much light left. Gaz, you must go to Stack and Jones. Get an engineer to fix the lighthouse. Aye, aye, sir. And me? Get that light barge from storage. I say! No complaining. This is serious. Get a light barge, meet up at the harbour mouth, and head up the coastline to put it into place. 
Now out you go, you two. Show some wake. Aye, aye, again, sir. Hey, Top Hat. What? Don't mess this up. I'm counting on you. For my goodness sake, I assure you I don't intend to try and mess this up. Glad to hear it. Might have wanted a bit more energy, but I will take what I can get. This goes south. I really am not gonna like you. No, really! Hey all, uh, no time to waste. Where's this engineer for the lighthouse? Right here, Gaz. Indeed, Mr. Stack, we are present and correct. Such a job calls for the best of the best, and we are the best of the best. No doubt, but we've really got to hurry though. It's getting darker real quick now, and I'd hate to be a ship in this situation. Then we should rectify it, should we not, Mr. Stack? Quite so, Mr. Jones, quite so. Our equipment's in this barge, Gaz, would you be so kind? Oh yeah, sure, of course. With Stark and Jones collected, along with their specialist equipment, Gaz headed for the harbour mouth. Oh, for goodness sake, where's the top forgotten to now? Hey, Gaz to top hat. Gaz to top hat. Where the heck are you? On my way, why'd you ask? Because we're on a deadline here? We can't be late and- that's exactly what you're making us. I can't very well Ollie, can I? If I do, I'll have no girl left to get to the lighthouse. Urgency was important in this type of operation, and Gaz knew that he'd have to make a judgement call here. Get up here fast. I'll take both barges up the coast myself. You sure, old man? Very sure. Now get a shift on. Right oh, shifting onwards. By taking the barges up the coastline himself, Gaz was taking quite a risk. Without careful handling, he could find himself and his barges caught in the currents, and that would help no one. Well, you took your time. Be quiet, Gaz. I'll go and top up, then come and help. Oh, with two barges? Come on now, it's hardly the most challenging assignment. Uh, good luck! Out in the open sea stood the tramper, awaiting assistance for his approach to the port. Ahoy! Ahoy there! Tramper, ahoy! You took your time, old man. Got some valuable cargo in my hold, you know. Can't be kept waiting around. <laughs> Yes, well, unforeseen circumstances, no need to fret. You'll be docked safely in good time. I should hope so, too. What do you mean, unforeseen? Unforeseen like what? A lighthouse blew itself out on the coast. I had to wait as a marker. It's all sorted out now? If it isn't yet, it will be soon. Mm, Nothing to yeah. worry about. Now let's get you into port, eh? Lashed together, Wilbur and the Tramper set out for Brendam. Night meant that Wilbur was following the coastline, using familiar landmarks to guide him home. Of course, the most prominent landmark was that of the lighthouse, and Gaz had worked hard to get himself there in good time. Done. I don't think you have, Gaz. You see, the light barge must be placed in open water, thus allowing the highest probability of vision you see. Okay. I get you. All right. Just leave it with me. I got this. I do believe that Gaz is tied in, Mr. Jones. I quite agree, Mr. Stack. I thought our new top designs are not equipped with. Once in position, the light barge was turned on. Uh... Oh, that is bright! Ah! For crying out loud, the currents... Quickly, Gaz was lashed up to the barge, securing its position. Oh, great. Well, this is comfortable. More comfortable than me, Baz. Uh, uh, Gaz. Compare with me, you're living the life of Riley. Wilbur to all tugs. Wilbur to all tugs. Anyone there? Over. Gaz here. What's up? Bad weather. I'll need a hand with this tramper. Hey, Wilbur, much as I'd love to come and help, I'm needed here. This light barge will go onto the rocks if I don't, and I- Look, Gaz, it's your call, but that barge isn't as bright as that lighthouse. Well, at last, some recognition! So get your act together and make a decision. Over and out. Go on then, get your skates on, Gav. What? Go on, go help your friend before it's too late. Trust me, I've seen a fair few ships ripped apart on these rocks, and I'd hate for him to be one of them. Right. Uh, thanks. Ugh, can't see a thing in this weather. Before you knew what you were doing. So did I. 
Hello, Wilbur. What kept you? What kept me? Oh, what kept me? Lash yourself up and we'll get moving. It's gonna be difficult with conditions like this. No worries, old man. We'll get through it. Ah, oh, dang it. What? What? What is it? A light barge. It's being dragged onto the rocks. Well, that's it. We're done for. You, you sure? I'm sorry, what? Why would the lights go out, then have the smash? So you're telling me if that wasn't the light barge, what was it? Less wondering, more working. Keep it together, lad. We don't want to pull them apart. Pull them apart? Pull them apart? Who's it? What's happening? The currents. They're dragging us in. Full steam, guys. Make some wake. Okay, just slowly... Ha <laughs> ha! Nicely handled, guys. Very nicely indeed. Oh, I say, hello! Tip-top? Well, naturally, old boy, the captain would hardly trust the switcher in this weather, would he? What are you doing here, Top Hat? Well, once I heard Wilbur's SOS, I rather thought I'd have to come and save the day. I saw this barge loose and about to hit the rocks. Ah. Yes, precisely what I said. So I lashed myself up, kept it in position, and here I am. Thank you for coming, Top Hat. I rather think you saved us from crashing into the rocks. Not at all. Jolly good show, by the way, you do not smashing yourselves up. More lucky than some others I could mention. That seems really daunting. Messrs. Stack and Jones over there weren't quite anticipating the weather change. <laughs> ah, but I'll just sunk to the deep end after. If you can see through my partner's somewhat whimsical turn of phrase. I hope you don't mind, Mr. Jones. Not at all, Mr. Stack. No worries, guys. We can give you a lift back. Our turtle thanks, guys. I really didn't need this twice in one day. Uh... Oh, thank goodness. Nice to be bright and useful once more. So when are you coming back? Um, back? We should have need to return. Oh, but, but, but what about my circuits? Me bulbs? Even the foundations here seem a little unstable. You sure it's all ship shape? If that much is wrong, we should consider a replacement. <laughs> Certainly, I shall suggest the idea to Captain Edson. Actually, fellas, I reckon I'll be all right. <laughs> no need to worry about me, yeah? <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. An easy job, I think you called this earlier. Took the three of us to do it in the end, though, didn't it? Mm, yes. Mm, yes, very. Very droll, Wilbur. Yeah, droll. Ha ah, ah, ha! Hilarious! Now, can we get a move on, please? Ah, uh, yes, yes, of course. Come on, then. Back to port with us. Well, I'll end the door if you want, Wilbur. Much appreciated, Top Hat. Come on. Coming, guys? Yeah, I'll, uh. Hmm. I'll follow on in a moment. Go on without me, guys. Watching Top Hat and Wilbur depart for the port, a few things became clear to Gaz. He couldn't do everything himself, but then no one expected him to. Asking for help was something he should never be afraid to do, even if it was help from Top Hat.